Hey everybody, Yoken here, and today I would like to find out if you want to enhance your Discord server just that little bit with some botting, because I am going to show you Dinobot. Now, Dinobot is my favorite bot on the Discord server just because you can do so many things with it. You can add roles, you can do action logs, you can do announcements and auto responders, auto roles, custom commands, moderation, tags, it, it just keeps on going. You can even stream music from this thing. And it just makes managing your Discord server so much easier. So let's get you up and running with Dinobot. Now the first thing that you want to do is head over to the Dinobot website, which is www.dinobot.net. Once you get to the website, just log in with your Discord, just click on authorize, and it will automatically detect any of the servers that you are able to manage. So in the drop down list over here, simply click on the channel, and then you will see a brief explanation of everything that Dinobot can do for you. Let's authorize that. I am not a robot. And you're done. Dinobot has now been added to your server. As can be seen by the Dinobot icon at the top right. And remember, you're more than welcome to join my Discord servers if you have any questions. The details are listed below. But let's continue with a quick guide. The first thing that you would want to do is click on the commands menu at the top there and get familiar with all the commands that discord has to offer there's a lot of miscellaneous things that's just there for fun rolling the dice or flipping a coin doing some google searches You've got your auto modding blacklisting and whitelisting some game integrations management of your text uh, especially the purge icons or, or the purge commands over here are very helpful uh, we have got moderation banning and kicking you can play music you can add somebody as a dj and do searches on youtube music especially adding the roles we'll get back to this this is my favorite feature and i'll give you a bit of a tutorial on that in, in a moment and then some tags to make things easier for you during your custom commands so once you've familiarized yourself with the available commands simply go back to the server that you wanted and here you can set up some of the settings. Another very useful tip is to join their Discord channel as well because they have got a very active community of a lot of people that know all the ins and outs of the server. So the standard settings, modules and commands that you can choose to activate. And then we get to the announcements, which is one of my favorites. Setting up a message that goes to any person that joins your channel now i've set it up to be a private message but you can also set a message and target a specific channel to display a message in the variables down below shows you what kind of syntax you need to do in your messages to have the user's name or the server or the channel to pop up as links in the message Following that, we have got autoresponders, auto roles, custom commands, moderation, music, and tags. I have opted to disable some of the modules, which are listed down below. But the other one that I really want to show you is the custom commands. As a quick example, if I go into my game on channel, go to the server settings for roles, you can see that I have got many different roles specified over here. And the ones in color are mostly related to roles that I assign to users. Now users won't be able to auto assign them to these roles unless you set your server up that way. But the ranks are more roles that users can assign themselves to directly. And I use these as interest groups. So what I want to do in Yoken's domain is I want to be able to add a rank called gaming. So everybody interested in gaming can then see that. And I want to specify a color for that. So I'm going to specify 546E7A. And that's fine. The group has now been created. And in the server settings, I can now see under roles that there is a gaming group over there. Also note that the allow anyone to mention this role has been selected, which means that we can now go, hey gaming, and you can see it pop up over there. Now that will shout out mentions to everybody that's part of that rank so if you want to join the rank you can just say rank gaming and then you will be joining the gaming interest group now you can also say members 
gaming to see a list of all the members in the group and of course you can just say ranks to show all the different types of ranks now if i want to do the ad rank gaming hash 546e7a every single time for every single one of those channels it's going to be coming repetitive very fast now that is where the custom commands come in play say i want to add a subscription and then i go i want to delete the command that i typed to execute this command and i also want to further use the add rank command whatever the name is that i specified parameter one and then the color which is 546e7a so now what i can do is make one for tech and i just go add sub tech and that'll automatically do everything for me now i'm sure you can see how this becomes really really powerful i have set up some other commands that essentially just makes it easier instead of writing members i write list instead of ranks i write subs so you can customize and keep on customizing multiple executions or commands just by entering one command and streamline your entire server that way. If you do have any questions, please reach out to me on my Discord channel, reach out to the guys on Dinobot. And if you haven't yet, please click that like and subscribe button. It really helps me out quite a lot. Looking forward to seeing you around. Thank you for watching. Yoken out.